bit of Leah. This is the recipe for my buckwheat bread, breads, gluten free. So um, it's made from just three ingredients. It's buckwheat flour, salt and water. So the recipe is really simple, but the way that I make them, the reason why I'm doing the video is because it's a bit tricky making them at first. So I've got um, I've got two different kinds of buckwheat flour just because that's what I had in the cupboard and one of them's a bit grainier and the other one's a lot finer so I mix them together but you don't need to because if you just use the grainy one then it doesn't stick together very well so that's why I mix it with some of this one. So um, yeah, to start with I put in it's it's basically three cups in total it's three cups of buckwheat flour one cup of water and a teaspoon of salt but i add it in different stages so i'm going to start with a cup of buckwheat flour and then i'm going to add a teaspoon of salt <clears throat> and mix that together and then i'm going to add the cup of water put that all straight in there and then mix that together and I've heated up you need an iron a cast iron skillet for it you, you can do it with other pans but it's a bit tricky I've tried it with lots of different pans and the cast iron skillet works the best um, <clears throat> that one isn't an expensive one um, yeah it's just a normal skillet so i'm mixing those together and that's bit that's been preheated so my stove goes up to six and i've got it on four and then it's really well preheated so i'm just mixing that together to get all the lumps out of it it mixes in with the water really easily i just make sure that's smooth And then I'm going to add the next cup of flour. Put a bit of mixture of both in there. <clears throat> now I'm going to put this in a little bit at a time. So I've just sprinkled a bit on the top there. Until you can see it's starting to come together. What I want to do is get it so that it um, comes together. So I put a, li a little bit more in. If I tip it all in in one go, it just goes really. It goes to a different kind of texture. It goes really kind of dry. So I do it a little bit at a time until it's the right. Um, whatever you call it. <laughs> So yeah, that's coming together now, and so the next bit I'm going to do in my hands, so I'm going to get this off the spoon. And then I'm going to put a layer of the buckwheat flour over the top of that. So because this is so sticky still, like it would just stick to my hands, so I just put a little bit of flour on top before I use my hands on it to press into it. And then every time I can feel it getting sticky again, I just put on a little bit more. So I'm basically just trying to, this flour that I'm putting on, <clears throat> I'm just trying to work it into the dough. And I've tried making this in all different kinds of ways and this seems like the best way to get the right it's not texture i don't know what the word is like the right stretchiness of the dough to make thinner breads so i'm still working that in there's still some in the bottom and 
when I've made some of these, sometimes I just make them and really eat them straight away. And then sometimes I make them and put them in the freezer. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to cook it through on the outside. Um, <clears throat> and then I put them in the toaster afterwards and they sort of just do the last little bit of cooking in the toaster. But I put the toaster... I think my toaster goes up to six, is that right? Is it up to six or eight? And I put it on really low, so I put it on under two. It's like one and a half or one and three quarters. So it's just <clears throat> in the toaster afterwards on low, and that just finishes the last little bit of cooking. And then if I put them in the freezer, then I can get them out of the freezer and pop them into the toaster. So now that's took up all of the flour that was in the bottom of the bowl. So I'm going to add a bit more because if I try and like work that in my hands, that's going to be stuck to my hands. So that's two cups of flour now that I've put in. So I'm going to fill the last cup. <clears throat> I'm not going to probably use all of this, but I certainly need most of it. So then I just keep adding a little bit at a time and working it in. Until I'll show you how dry or not dry that I want it. So I want to get it to the point where I can take a piece off. It's quite stretchy. Like if I add too much flour, it goes really quite stiff and then it's really hard to make into a flatbread so i roll it in my hands if it's sticking to my hands i know that it hasn't got enough flour added to it so i want to get it to the point that i can just roll it in my hands and i can feel that it's a little bit sticky but it's it's not like sticking to me then this last cup of flour i pop each one into there and for the first bit i'm sort of pressing it out in my hands as I'm doing my hands, I don't just do side to side because that makes it all long and thin. So I'm turning my hands as I move it. Then I put a little bit more flour on. And then I work it up to my fingers and I'm just going to keep turning it. <clears throat> so it's kind of, it's, I'm not pressing it anymore. I'm just letting it sort of stretch out. Then this is a tricky bit. I'm going to get it on that hand. Oh, well, I'm right handed, so I'll get it on my right hand. And the skillet's already hot ready, and then I'm just gonna flop it in there. Th th this bit's like kind of tricky to begin with. Sometimes I get all folded up, but when you get used to it, just like it's it works best to just kind of smack it in there. <laughs> if you kind of try and do it gently, it sort of folds on itself. So already that's starting to cook underneath, and I can lift it and turn it. needs a minute on each side you can make these breads on anything like you can make this bread on a fire if you put this skillet on a fire you can make bread on a fire but i just not do the toast a bit at the end i'll just keep it in the skillet longer until it's more you know that last bit of cooking is done so that's basically cooked on each side it's just it just finishes it off nice if i pop it in the toaster now <clears throat> you know when i'm ready to use it so there's one. So then what I do is I just get into a routine of getting one rolled. Now, okay, as soon as I can feel it starting to stick, that's when I add that next little bit of flour. And then look to my fingers. And it's kind of that thin. I don't know, what's that, like a millimetre or two, two millimetres maybe? And I can feel, I've got used to like doing it that I can feel that it's not thicker in the middle. It's like it's an even size all the way around. And because of like turning my hands and stuff, that does work it like that. So um, if you get holes in it, it's because there's not enough. You need to add a bit more flour to the dough because it's not holding together enough. So again, I hold it like that and just flip it upside down. And then while that side's cooking, I'll get the next one off. 
roll it until it's smooth on the outside into the flour do the first bit that's where I sort of press it and when I get to that point it's usually ready I can turn it over my fingers <clears throat> and then usually by the time I've got that one ready that one's ready to come out of the pan the next one in so yeah I just do that until I've used it all and then they could just go in a bag in the freezer well that's what I do I put them in a bag in the freezer and then I just pop one in the toaster when I want to use it um yeah that's it so it's just the three ingredients so it's just in total, by the time I've done all this, I'll have used most, maybe even all of the buckwheat flour. Um, so that's three cups of buckwheat flour, uh, one teaspoon of salt and one cup of water. And if if it is a type of buckwheat flour whoops, that is um, uh, really grainy, then um, if it's a buckwheat flour that's really grainy, then it doesn't, it doesn't hold its shape so well when you make the bread so it, this this one i've mixed with it because it's really fine and that works better um yeah that's it <laughs>